Hey folks, welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, it's going to be formatted a little bit differently than what we typically do, uh, where we just show our hunts and what we've seen in the field. A uh, reason for that, I only got footage of a doe for like five seconds and I didn't get footage of the basket eight that I saw this weekend. Um, I saw the doe on Friday night after work on that hunt, then I saw the basket eight on Saturday night's hunt. However, uh, leading up to uh, Saturday evening's hunt, I found this really good CRP overlooked um, bedding type ground. And I think it was overlooked. It didn't look like there was any human pressure in it, anything in there. However, I learned after doing scouting of the full bedding area after my couple hunts, I was in there a week late. And uh, hopefully you guys can learn something from this portion of the video. All right, welcome to day two of this adventure. Um, yesterday I found that hot sign. I set up in a bedding area, ended up seeing a small basket, but it was really hard to see over the CRP. So today we got really high winds, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds with 30, 35 mile an hour gusts. So I'm gonna get real aggressive. We got some rain starting to come down right now. Um, so plan is, this is my last day hunt for the weekend. We're gonna get in there, be aggressive. If we bump them, we bump them. If we don't, we don't. Either way, we should be able to learn something here tonight. Let's go. So, right here, it's a big watering hole, I think, during the summer. I'm gonna come around the corner here. We got an entrance trail to this watering hole with a big scrape on it. When we come around the corner, this is where I think they're exiting because there's a scrape over here. The scrape that I saw yesterday, right there. And they're headed to the bean fields over there. Since we know this is the watering hole now, let's attack that bedding area. About halfway through still hunting through this little bedding area. There's one of his beds right there. There's one of his beds right there. All the trails come off this. He's got one going that way. Then he's got one going that way. And he's got one going that way. There's rubs on each one of those trails. But everything swirls in this little bottom here. And it makes sense why he's bedded here. I think next year morning, I'm gonna get in one of these bigger trees over here. Maybe try killing them in the morning or killing something in the morning. Well, as you could see, I found the main hub, our main uh, bedding area where those bucks are bedding. Found a morning setup and found a couple afternoon setups. One setup where they're going to the beans right away and another one where they're cutting off and going to that water source that I showed earlier. Um, I wasn't able to show the PM setups because uh, uh, we had a thunderstorm moving in that day. So I had to really beat feet and get out of there uh, pretty quick because I would have been the tallest thing in that field. But anyway, just a couple Early season observations, uh, acorns have been dropping in isolated, isolated areas. Hasn't been a tremendous drop this year in Wisconsin. It's been isolated pocket here, isolated pocket there. One thing I've noticed, when you find those isolated pockets, you're gonna find deer and you're gonna find a lot of deer. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.